Python is one of the most in-demand programming languages and it's used in everything from software engineering to data science and IT automation and everyone needs Python programmers. Now Python is really beginner friendly but how you learn Python will have a huge impact on your success. I have previously reviewed a site called Learn SQL. It's one of the top platforms for learning SQL. They offer over 70 courses on just SQL top quality material and I would recommend them any day of the week. Now they've also recently launched a new platform specifically for Python, which we're going to check out together today. I'll go through everything you need to know about this site called Learn Python, how it works, what courses to take, the cost, as well as the pros and cons of using this platform compared to learning Python somewhere else, and see if this is the best platform for you. I'm gonna be honest about what I like and what I don't like. This is not a sponsored video, but if you do decide to get started and you want to support the channel and help me make videos like this, feel free to use my link to sign up, which I'll leave in the description. I just wanted to make that clear, now let's get started. So here's the homepage of Learn Python. Now the good thing about using this site is that they solely focus on Python. There are so many sites that just teach you a lot of weird stuff and they don't really focus on one skill or one area, but this site is really dedicated on teaching you one skill incredibly well. Now they also offer some different areas of Python that you can focus on as well as career paths, which we'll talk about later. The teaching approach is very hands-on. You can do all of the work on their site. You don't have to install anything on your computer or something, although that's pretty nice to do anyway, but they have a great coding environment directly integrated in the browser for you to use. I really like the focus on practical hands-on exercises as well. It's a large part of all the courses and it's going to make it way easier to learn when you can directly apply it to something as well, rather than just watching a video or something that's not really going to teach you as much as actually doing it yourself. And here it's rarely videos and readings, it's mainly bite-sized practical lessons. So you're not going to be watching that many videos and in some aspects it's way harder to learn that way but it's also way better and you learn faster and remember more and also be able to apply what you've learned when you actually need it. They do offer Python certificates after completing each course, which can be nice to have. You can print them out or add them to your LinkedIn or just put them on your wall or whatever you want to do with them. Those are nice to have after spending some time completing a course. Now let's take a look at the most important thing. What courses do they offer? They're still in the early stages, so as I'm recording this, they only have 13 complete courses, but that's pretty good. And they have a lot more courses coming. At the top here, we have the level, and so far most of these are at the basic level, but if you're interested in more advanced courses, you can select that as well. The standard are beginner courses. On the right side, we can see the filters. Now, if we look at the courses, you'll see that some are tracks and some are called courses. A track is basically a collection of courses intended to be completed in a specific order. If you compare it to Coursera, for example, it's basically like a professional certificate. Now we're going to take a look at the Learn Programming with Python track because I think it's the most relevant for beginners. This is made to bring a complete beginner to proficient in Python and to be able to write your own computer programs using Python, of course. No programming experience or prior IT knowledge at all is required. There are five courses in the specialization with a total estimated learning time of around 38 hours. Now, this might not seem like that much, but also keep in mind that all of these are active hours. It's not like watching videos or just reading something. It's actually programming and doing things yourself. That's why the courses are a little bit shorter than on other platforms, which I think is really good. It's going to save you a lot of time. So far, there are over 18,000 users currently enrolled. But again, it's a really new site, and let's not focus on that too much. It's going to change over the upcoming weeks. We're also going to talk about the price and all that kind of detail soon but now let's talk about the courses there are five different courses and the first one is called python basics it's a short 10 hour course has 95 interactive exercises for you to do and helps you write your first python program next we have the courses python basics 2 and python basics number three these ones have 74 and 60 coding challenges each which is more than most courses I've ever seen. 74 coding challenges in a one single course in 10 hours, that's really, really efficient. And it's also the power of learning without boring videos and actually doing things yourself. Then we have Python for data structures. And finally, built-in algorithms in Python with 118 and 67 coding challenges each course. Now, when it comes to the price, be aware that this is the beta price. So it might be a little bit higher when you're watching this because there are more courses available. Currently, it's 29 bucks for lifetime 
them access to one single course. Or if you want to get all of their courses in the future, it's 299 bucks one time fee. There are no subscriptions on this platform at all. And as someone that has like 15 subscriptions all over the place from different kind of softwares that I have and programs and courses, it feels really refreshing to have a single payment option for once. Now, I don't think anybody should sign up and pay something without trying things out. So they also offer a free trial account for you to try out, which is completely free and it doesn't require a credit card or anything. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because I hate signing up to free stuff and then they ask you for your card. It's actually the worst. Now, let's talk about the upsides and downsides of using this platform versus another platform to learn Python. I really like their hands-on learning approach. I also like that they don't do subscriptions. They are really annoying. And finally, I like the simplicity of the platform and that they just focus on teaching you one single skill, and that's Python. It's easy to get distracted, start learning other stuff or whatever, but whatever course you pick on this platform is going to teach you Python and get you towards your goals. The only downside that I have is that it's a new platform. When you're watching this, this is probably not even going to affect you, but they still have 13 courses so far, which is enough for months of learning Python. But still, if you compare it to their other SQL learning platform, which has like 70 courses, I think, it's not that wide of a selection. I think it's more practical than Coursera and other options, although those are really good too. But if you're just getting started, I would recommend their Learn Programming with Python track, as it's great for beginners and teaches you everything you need to know about Python fast. I can vouch for this platform myself, and I'll leave a link to that in the description, as well as any discounts or sales going on right now. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.